the passion that I have for protecting my kids, it's probably more than that. New developments in the fight over sex ed. Who should teach our kids and when? Good evening, I'm Mallory Maddox. And I'm Joe Chiotto in for John tonight. We have continuing coverage on the fallout from the Omaha Public School sex ed meeting. Community members are now taking sides on that issue. OPS school board members are still weighing the feedback from Tuesday night meeting. Still, parents are talking and some are upset, like the woman in that now infamous cell phone video from Tuesday night's meeting. A lot of people will remember her. Today, she spoke to WWT 6 News reporter Brandon Scott. He joins us now in the studio. Brandon, what did she have to say? Well, Joe, she had a lot to say. More than 30,000 people have watched this viral cell phone video showing a woman at Tuesday night's OPS board meeting screaming against proposed changes to the district's sex ed curriculum. That meeting was packed with Twitter photos showing a crowd of more than 1,000 inside, and the crowd got contentious with protesters holding signs and emotions eventually boiling over. The woman in this video can be heard shouting about protecting her children's purity, and she's now known on online as Purity Mom. I spoke with her today. Everybody has moments where they do something weird or whatever, and nobody wants it caught on tape and put on YouTube or whatever, or Facebook. Deanna Raybuck Sorry. isn't proud of her emotional outburst, captured on video and viewed by tens of thousands of people. A son. Is it a son? But she is determined to do what she thinks is best for her five daughters and to get answers from Omaha Public Schools about proposed changes to the district's sex ed curriculum. Changes Raybuck fears could damage her children's innocence. As we grow, we have things that we are capable of processing and things that we aren't capable of processing. And protecting the innocence is protecting the things that we're not able to process. The sex ed classes at Omaha Public Schools haven't changed in 30 years. Now the district is considering adding new lessons. For instance, in sixth grade, students would learn about sexual orientation and gender identity. In 10th grade, classes would cover abstinence along with effective forms of contraception and abortion. Those are things that I want to talk to my kids about at home. Raybuck won't pull her children out of OPS, but she will do whatever she can to shape the sex ed debate, even if it means doing this. Not OPS! Not OPS! That is my job as their mom. That's, that's my job, to protect them. However, according to OPS statistics, Raybuck is in the minority on this issue. The district surveyed 1,000 parents and found more than 70% supported adding sixth grade lessons on sexual orientation and gender identity, 93% supported adding high school lessons on birth control, and more than 60% supported adding discussions about abortion. At 6.30, we'll hear from a parent who is in favor of all those changes. Interestingly enough, Joe and Mallory, the woman we'll talk to at 6.30, actually recorded the Purity Mom cell phone video. All right, Brandon, looking forward to that perspective. Thank you very much.